What is good, Nation? It's StockJ back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one only AMC stock, what you should be looking out for the future. I'm also going to break down some very important information involving AMC, as we are seeing Citadel buy hundreds of thousands of AMC shares. They just reported this just a couple of days ago. They're actually buying all these shares for a very important reason. So I want to talk about what their intentions are. Why are they buying so many of these AMC shares? And are they actually trying to get more of these ape units? Are they trying to gain some control? So we're going to find out a lot of information right over here. We're going to find out what their intentions are, what they may be trying to do, and why on earth they're actually buying a ton of AMC shares. Now, before I break anything down about Citadel, before I get into any details, I also have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. And it only benefits me events the entire ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo Moo link down below in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit a hundred dollars into the account you're guaranteed 10 free stocks each worth up to two thousand five hundred dollars and the best part is out of the 10 free stocks five are going to come from the wheel right here which means that you could win five free amc shares five free tesla shares or a mix of all of them it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just two weeks check it out before it runs out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so when it comes to amc there are many big shorts out there that have just been piling in and attacking amc as much as they can and we know that citadel is one of the big ones out there so i want to actually talk about citadel right now they just had their 13f filings report that just came out and we can see some very interesting things right here so when it comes to their ownership of amc they owned more shares in the past than before. They actually sold a lot and started shorting this thing back at like July and you know many, many months out there. And we could see we don't have the like recent data from this chart yet, but they did actually start to increase their position right over here as the price started to go up. So the question is, why are they doing this? And let me actually show you how many shares they reportedly own. And that is 670,000 AMC shares that they own, a 650% increase in their positions and when it comes to puts and calls they decrease their positions by 34 percent each but overall they've been buying and holding a ton of amc shares so why are they buying you know over 500,000 amc shares why is there a 650 percent increase in their ownership and the answer is it could be a lot of things we don't truly know what their intention is but i'll tell you one thing and that is they're not necessarily in our favor at all they they've been shorting this thing them and the prime brokers who are also working on the sidelines not just with them but they're you know we have lots of potential evidence that they're naked shorting this thing so it makes no sense for them to actually just be going long uh for the sake of liking the company they're doing this for control they're also doing this in my opinion because they may even want to hedge because who knows maybe deep down they know AMC might make some nice moves to the upside over the next couple of weeks, next few months. And they, they just have been buying and buying and buying. What else is interesting is this could be a hedge for their uh, short positions. They could also tend to do this when it comes to their strategies. So that could be another thing. And another thing that I'm thinking is, what if they're also holding all these shares because of the ape units? They want to get some of those ape units too to give them as much control as they could get. And when it comes to these shares, the ownership of these shares... We don't know if they're actually going to be lending a lot of them out, maybe just some of them, because if you lend out all of these shares, the dividend is not necessarily just going to be yours like that if you're lending everything out. So with that said, from what I'm essentially seeing, I don't think that their intention is to lend out all their shares. I think they might actually want some of these ape units too, because it will give them control over the company. And I don't think that's their number one intention. I think it has to do with like hedging, uh, trying to mitigate the risks because when you trade what a lot of big institutions do is they go, they go both long and short in order, in order for them to essentially hedge so with that said i think that what's happening to citadel is that that could be part of what they're doing but it doesn't show the true disclosure of how much they've been shorting amc because we don't truly know all right we don't truly know in truth they actually maybe shorting this thing in ways we can't even see in the data they could have hundreds of millions of short positions maybe billions against amc right we don't we don't really know the true extent of that and that's one of the things that makes me excited about excuse me very excited about ape because what's good about this is i i see this as a big win for us because what i essentially see happening is 
Ape is going to come out. And I think both Ape and AMC may drop after it comes out. Before it comes out, we can see a bit of a like run up. But anyways, when Ape comes out, it's supposed to kind of be like a count of all the legal shares in a way. And could it force a share recall? Maybe. It's kind of like a, a, a share recall without the legal ramifications in a way. And I, I just ask myself, what's going to happen if we have millions of investors all over the world who don't get their apes, the preferred equity units? What is going to happen? I really believe that's when things are going to get serious. And when, when this is exposed, when this gets out there, it could lead to lots of FOMO, it could lead to shorts covering, all sorts of big things. So I'm still bullish. I, I honestly believe that Ape is going to squeeze as well, because it's not subjected to the same manipulation via the options chain as AMC. There are not going to be Ape options. I believe after the 22nd, options are going to come out, and when they come out, it's going to require you to add both Ape and AMC. So you're basically not buying Ape options, basically not. So it may not be subject to the same manipulation. But at the end of the day, I really believe both Ape and AMC will squeeze. It's also going to add a psychological benefit because you're not going to lose any money since you're getting both Ape and AMC. The market cap of AMC is probably going to be split in half, but the outstanding shares will be the same. So half the value of AMC goes into Ape. So each of them now could have the potential to run up. With that said, you know, a double squeeze sounds good to me. And I think this could expose a lot of big things. So to me, that's very, very awesome. As for Citadel, I mean, I don't think they have good intentions. Uh, I think they're doing this for their own benefits in some ways. They're trying to mitigate risks. They may be, they may be lending out some of these shares too, right? I don't really trust them. That said, I'm still very bullish for the long term. I just wanted to put this information out and I really hope I brought some value into your guys' lives. I would recommend just being as calm, cool, and collected as possible and get ready because big things are still yet to come. You have to be patient. You have to be ready because when you least expect it, this stock could run. And when it actually runs, it's going to run hard. Thank you so much for listening. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of the day. I want you all to know that I appreciate you because staying in this play requires patience and it's difficult. It's difficult because there's so many instances where, you know, the market makers take advantage of our emotions to try to destroy retail. And this is one of those instances where we finally have the opportunity to come out on top. It just requires patience. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys in the next video. AMC to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out.